When Mike was learning to drive and how to do minor vehicle maintenance, he was amazed that many of his peers did not know how to change a flat tire. This occurred back in the 1950s when tires were mostly the bias ply type, which were not very reliable, and they tended to go flat. Now that times have changed and the technology of tires has improved immensely, Mike is still amazed at how many men and women cannot change a flat tire even if they absolutely had to. Mike's speech this morning is from the technical presentation manual. It's 13 to 15 minutes long, and he will, it will explain in understandable language the technical process of changing a flat tire. Please welcome with me Mike Slattery, How to Change a Flat Tire in the 21st Century. All right, thank you, Madam Toastmaster. <coughs> If you had to, could you change a flat tire today? Yes. A lot of us can. The tires, the uh, American Tire Association says there are going to be 220 million flat tires this year. And amazingly, only one in five know how to change a flat tire. Now, I know you all can say, oh, that's not true, Mike, because I have a cell phone, and I have AAA or farm tow, or I have some kind of tow company and come in and change my tire. Absolutely. No doubt about it. But let me put you in a situation where you may be in the middle of the desert in Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, nobody around, boof, the tire blows. What are you going to do? Are you going to sit there? and wait till somebody comes along and is a good Samaritan and help you change the tire or change the tire for you? Or are you going to take the bull by the horn and change the tire yourself and hopefully not get injured? Because you can. If the car isn't jacked up properly, it may fall over. What are you going to do then? So today, what I want to do is help you understand how to change a flat tire. Simple. As I mentioned, a lot of us don't know how to do it. So if you would, please open up the changing a flat tire that has a pretty lady changing a tire on the front. And we have some safety items that we must do. You're driving on the highway, the freeway, and boom, you're finding you're having a flat tire. The first thing you want to do is push that button for the hazard lights to blink. That means those yellow lights on the front of the car and the ones in the back of the car are going to start to blink. That will warn the, the cars that are behind you that there may be a problem. Well, obviously, if they look, your car is slanted down one way or another, and you move over to the safety lane. Now, whatever you do, if it's a busy road or a freeway, don't stop. Move to the next exit, get off, find a parking lot or an open space where you can stop and change the tire. The reason being I say that is because I don't know how many times I've seen on television where somebody is pulled over to the side, police officers and even other people that are broken down and some clown is looking at him, and the next thing you know, bam, he's smacking right into him. And that's what happens when you put on your blinker lights. A lot of people have a tendency to drive where they see. So what you want to do is continue to move on, not at the same speed, slow down, get off the freeway or get off someplace where you can get into a parking lot or a flat area, a flat area. The next thing... <coughs> You want to put out a, tri a reflector triangle to the back of the car, the front of the car, and the side of the car you're going to be working on, if you have three. If you only have one, then just put the one to the back of the car where the uh, traffic is headed towards you. Then you want to put on your parking brake as tight as you can and make sure that the car is either in park 
or if you have a standard, how many people have standard transmissions? <laughs> All right, is that your Mustang? <laughs> it's a Jeep. It's a Jeep, okay. And, or put it in first or reverse. Put on the parking brake. Now, the next thing, if you flip the page, you'll see the safety reflector triangles. My recommendation is to go to an auto parts store, Home Depot, or Lowe's, and purchase these triangles, put them in the trunk. The next page, knee safety pads. Now the reason I say knee safety pads is because when you go to pull the tire off or put the new tire on, you'll probably be facing the tire and you're going to be down on your knees. Don't sit and put your legs underneath the car because if the car <laughs> falls, you're going to crush your legs. So put knee safety pads. Put that in your little kit in the trunk. Then, for the women, you want to buy, next page, thin working gloves. Now again, you can buy these gloves at an auto parts store, Lowe's, or whatever. I have a picture here of mechanics. They're specifically designed to do work on a vehicle. And the last page I have is a cap flashlight. Now the cap flashlight is very important because you don't know when you're going to have a flat tire. Might be at night. And if it's at night, you're going to need both hands to do the job of changing the flat tire. Put on a little baseball hat, or if the women have one of those fancy little hats, clip that baby on the lid of the hat, and you can look <coughs> right out to you with all the lights you're going to need in order to change that flat tire. The next procedure for the actual changing of the flat tire. <coughs> The first thing you want to do when the car is set is you want to, perform, I'm sorry, the very first thing you want to do is read your owner's manual. Because all vehicles have a different spot in which to jack up the vehicle. And they have a specific jack for that spot. So if you put the jack in an incorrect spot on what we call the rocker panel or the bottom of the car, the car may fall or it not, may not be steady. So read your owner's manual so you'll know where to place your jack. <coughs> now, do you know where to place the jack? Get out of your car, get in the back, open the trunk, pull out the lug wrench and the jack and any other items that are needed to get the jack to go up or go down. Take the lug wrench and on the flat tire go to the lug nuts on the tire and brake so that they, you, can, you can turn the nut with your finger. Don't do that, just brake the nut while the car is on the, on the ground. The reason being is if you jack the car up and the wheel is in the air and it's not a, a back wheel, a rear wheel, the wheel's gonna spin. So make sure that the car is on the ground, take your lug wrench and break the bolt or the nut, depending on the vehicle you own. First thing you wanna do. The next thing that's necessary is to take that jack that you've already got in the right spot. Take the crank that comes with it, crank the car up so that you get the flat tire about two, maybe three inches at the most off the ground. At that point in time, put on your knee pads, get down on your knee, put on your gloves, grab the tire on the left side and the right side, pull it off, the flat tire. Put it over to the side, pick up the spare tire, bring it back over, and place it on the wheel hub where you had just taken off the flat tire. Then take the lug nuts or the bolts that you have taken off and put them on with your finger. And if you'll take a look at the next page, 
<coughs> you will see there is a tightening sequence. Now the reason we do that is to make sure that that wheel is flat against the hub. Because if it's not, <laughs> and you decide to drive, you're going to hear a thump, 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 and the wheel's going to be going like this if it's not flat against the hub, which is what the wheel is bolted to. So, we have one, two, three, four, and five. That's how you want to tighten it, and just tighten it with your hand. No more than that. Just tighten it with your hand so that the tire and, and the wheel is tight against the wheel hub. Now, at that point, what you want to do is lower the car so that <coughs> the tire that you have changed is just on the ground but not all the way down. And again, the reason being is we want to be able to tighten those lug nuts and not have the wheel spin. So, at that point in time, get the lug wrench, tighten again in the same sequence that you had before, <coughs> tighten it down as tight as you can, and for the ladies that only weigh 100 pounds, it's okay to take that lug wrench and <coughs> jump on it. <laughs> Use all your weight. Now, normally, if you were to go to a, a tire store, all the tires that they put on, the wheels, the lug nuts, are tightened at 80 pounds of torque. So if you see them with the long wrenches when you buy new tires and they've got an, and you see them going like this, they're torquing down. So 80 pounds of torque is what we need. Don't have to worry about it. All right, now at that point, what you want to do is lower the car all the way down to the ground so that all four tires and the car is level again and you can take a deep breath. Whew, I did it. Take off the knee pads. If it's at night, take off the hat. Go get your triangle. And put everything in the trunk and you do not have to have it exactly as it was when it came from the dealer. Don't worry about that because you want to get home or you want to get to your destination. And when you get to the destination, then you can take all that stuff and put it back the way it was. So, at that point, what we want to do is then get in the car, drive the car approximately four, maybe five miles. Then pull over to the side, grab, go back to the trunk, grab the lug wrench, and tighten the bolts again. Now the reason I say that is because we don't have a torque wrench to guarantee that we have 80 pounds of torque on those lug nuts. So what happens as you drive, the wheels get hot and they will expand. And sometimes the same thing happens to the bolts or the nuts, depending on your car, as I mentioned. And you want to make sure that those babies are tight. Because if they're not, again, the wheel is not going to go straight because it's not flush against the hub, it's going to go thum, 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 thum. So absolutely pull over to the side in a safe spot, grab the lug wrench, and tighten the bolts the, or the nuts, the lug nuts, one more time. At that point in time, get in your car and be on your way. Do we have any questions? Bob Anderson. Do all cars. Do all tires always go loosey, lefty loosey, righty tighty? Absolutely. No. If you have an earlier model vehicle, the right hand, the right hand tires, front and rear, are just the opposite. The left hand would be righty tighty, lefty loosey, or loosey lefty. I think but I ran into that. You did, yes. <laughs> but those are usually, those are not American-made cars. Those are, those, nor are they Asian. They're usually European. Uh, one of the cars that I'm aware of where I ran into that many years ago was, anybody remember the Citrion? Yes, sure. Yeah. One of the ma major manufacturers early uh, from France. So, any other questions?
Jack. What about if you have a like a covered wagon? You don't come with a full size spare. That's okay. Or, or we, even a part size spare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and some of the older cars have a uh, flat tire, mm -hmm. and then you got to put the juice in it. It comes with the uh, with the spare tire. But even the small one, the small tire, the diameter is maybe an inch less, but that works the same process. You want to make sure that the tire is down on the, uh, on the ground as you tighten the lug nuts. And that tire, you don't want to go, they say, anything over 55 miles an hour. But I've seen people on the freeway at 70 and 80 with those tiny tires shooting down the freeway. So they're still safe. But at that point in time, if you have a mini spare, what you want to do is make sure you get a new tire, or a flat tire. Just for point of clarification, is it correct to assume that when you kept saying breaking the lug nuts, you meant breaking them loose? That's what I meant, okay. breaking them loose. I'm Just sorry. Just don't want anybody out there with a hammer breaking That's right. the lug nuts. That's right, breaking them loose. That's a <laughs> slang that I shouldn't use. <laughs> Walter Mary, I just have a comment. It's, it's, it's highlighting you up there. But my, my younger brother <coughs> had a big car and you know, four kids and they were driving and then they went, the, they had a flat tire and they found they didn't have the spare tire because so check oh. before you go. They stole it. Yeah, to, <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing you should do too is make sure you got a spare tire. <laughs> and with that, Madam Toastmaster. Right. <laughs> my, 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 my,